Hey! Guys, how you doing? It's Henry. I'm over the blowers. Good morning. We're back on the motor scooter today because as you know, I was waiting for the brake levers that have the master cylinders on it. It's the only thing missing from letting this thing go is brakes. As you know, I bought brakes on Amazon like a couple of weeks ago, but I realized after I pushed the buy button that it was coming from China and it was going to take probably until mid-June for me to get them. I could have just bought them on eBay and it would have gotten here in three days. So that's what I did. I went on eBay, bought another set and it's here. You see, three days later it came. So when the Chinese ones come, I'm just going to return them. And I'm going to raise hell if they don't let me. I'm going to raise hell. Got to get my money back for those things. Uh, it was only 30 bucks. I'm not like, you know, end of the world or anything. But uh, I'm hoping today goes well. It should be very easy. Put the brake levers on there. Fill it up with brake fluid. Bleed them by getting the air out of the thing. I just hope that the brake line to the rear is gonna be good. I have, I'm pretty confident the brake line in the front's gonna be okay. Uh, if not, we're gonna have to order from brake lines and then I have to take apart the, all the plastics to install it, but that would be a pain. But I think it's gonna work because after I took off both uh, ends of the brake lines to the calipers, there was fresh fluid in there. So it should not have rusted or anything like that. And I mean, it's rubber. You know? So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna show you the uh, brake levers now. So here are the brake levers. They were cheap. It was like $32 for both. Uh, these appear to look exactly like the ones that I took off. Uh, the ones that I ordered from China actually had uh, two wires sticking out of one of them, not both of them, one of them. But those wires could just be, you know, fabricated to fit the two uh, ends to the wiring i think it's you know for the accessory stuff whatever it was uh, uh the, the right one you needed to be connected as you see here it's connected because it wouldn't start other than that so here it is the brake lever with the um brake cylinder on here you just loosen these two screws and add the brake fluid in there uh the window is much smaller than the stock ones. The stock ones was a big window that was, the glass was pulverized. So when you put the brake fluid in, it would come out, you know? So now I need this. And also this is what I'm talking about here. The two prongs, you see this one's bent in. That's what you get when you uh, order stuff from eBay. I'm just slowly gonna bend this open. Ah, oh, if it broke, I would have lost it, <laughs> but it's okay. So what happens is uh, you depress this and it pushes the piston inside that pushes, put pressure inside that pushes the fluid into the brake calipers, which also push the piston to close in the brake pads to touch the rotor to stop. That's how it works. I mean, theoretically you could just get like mountain bike brakes and put them on there. But I mean, it is a 150 CC. If this was like a 49 or 50 CC engine. You could probably just put mountain bike brakes on it, you know, with a cable and no fluid and it would, you know, stop. This is the left one. This is the other end, put it on. And I'm assuming this is exactly the same. Uh, this window looks a little different than that one, isn't it? And this lid doesn't look very flush, does it? Right? It's kind of like curved. Oh boy. See? The window? They don't look exactly the same. Looks different. Whatever. As long as it stops the bike, I don't care. Uh 
huh? So when you depress this, it releases that. And once it releases, I guess it closes the circuit, which allows you to start it, you know, kind of like, a, you know, you have to grip it to start it. So this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I haven't secured the headlight and that cover on there too well. So because I anticipated having to um, mount these. So I'll put you on time lapse and uh, we'll see what, what happens. installed these perfectly but because these are cheap aftermarket parts from China these were just based in the US so they're still cheap I tightened this and crack well you can't have them crack so I'm going to try to find the old uh, ends and put them on hopefully they'll fit in the meantime I'm going to show them a picture of this and uh, tell them that their shit sucks. As you saw, I bled this first one here and I wasn't getting any pressure until I put the cap back on and screwed it on. And now I feel pressure and it's about halfway. I can pull it down halfway and it stops. I'm bleeding the um, left one now, as you can see. I've refilled it a couple of times already and you just pull this slowly, the lever. It, bubbles still came out before, there we go, still some. So it's, it's bleeding itself, well, not itself, me I'm doing it <laughs> you just keep doing this until you don't see any more bubbles uh, in the process every time you retract the lever it sucks a little bit down through the brake line into the caliper um, before on the right one I was doing it halfway and I felt pressure even without the cap on uh, I don't know what that's about but then it loosened up and then started putting more fluid in there and then I wasn't feeling any pressure, so then I figured, oh, maybe you have to put the cap on, right, to create the pressure. So I put the cap on and kept on doing this for a bit and felt pressure. So you kind of want to push this back out again, see? So that's why you have to have the cap on. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I don't see any more bubbles. I don't see any now but I wanna fill it up to the top and then put the cap on, you know? I'm gonna keep doing this for a while and see what happens. Actually, you know what? I don't see any more bubbles. It's been like five, six, 10 times and I don't see any more bubbles. It's just fluid pushing back up again. And I feel a little bit of pressure, but I think the cap has to be on. So I'm pretty excited. It's working out pretty well. I obviously put another end cap on end to this thing on there, the old one. So now it's not cracked because you can't have a cracked lever with brakes. You know what I mean? It's important. Just gonna fill it a little bit. Fuck. There we go. Uh, you have to wipe off the brake cleaner, uh, the brake fluid off of the paint because brake fluid, brake cleaner, they, they take off paint. Not that I have the best paint job in the world, but um, nevertheless. So it looks pretty good. It's on the top. I mean, I, I don't know if I overfilled it or not, but it doesn't appear to be any more bubbles. See? Once I depress it, it's fluid shooting up. So there's no more bubbles. And that's what you want to do. You just want to get all the bubbles out. I suppose you might have to do this again if you go out and take a ride. The vibration will jar some bubbles through the lines out, come back out, maybe. So I'm just gonna put this cap back on. 
it's a little full and i didn't use my ratchet because these little these little phillips screws are so small and fragile that i don't want to strip them you strip them you're screwed and buy another set of levers <laughs> But these levers are cheap enough, honestly, you know, $20, $29 plus tax, $32 maybe, shipped to your door. It's not expensive. I mean, and brakes are a major part of the machine, you know, you need some, like a mandatory must. You have to have brakes. Because as you saw from the last episode, I tried to take it for a ride with no brakes and the momentum of the engine running was increasing the speed and I, I had no way to stop so it was dangerous uh, remind me never to do that again so i'm just going to do this now and see if i feel any pressure build up as you can see this lever also has an area where i can put a mirror see this mirror over here is trashed uh, i actually have a uh, honda spree mirror from my old honda spree and i think it might fit uh, not not that having two mirrors is all that important. You just need really one. Actually, you could just look back <laughs> with your neck. Don't really need mirrors, but I have them, so I'm going to try to screw it on. I'm starting to feel some pressure now, so it's built up. It's good. Hey, look, as long as the wheels stop, I'm fine with it. I'm not going to, I'm not planning on going fast with this thing. Yep, it's building up now. So now it's like I can squeeze it to halfway. It doesn't go all the way. And that's about what you need. I'm going to do this for a while. I'm going to take the caps back off again and top it off to the top so I get better pressure. Because you don't want all the fluid to eventually go all the way down from air pockets or whatever. And then you ha don't have good pressure and you can't stop. It feels pretty good. totally sucked uh, the, the plastics had to go on just right you know sometimes I would put a screw in and this tab would be sticking out I'd have to loosen it again put it back again just so it all fits uh, half of the screws were stripped rusted and stripped when I took it out so I had to drill like half of them out to, for me to go and look for screws that almost fit you know I think I got most of it I mean <laughs> it's pretty tight uh, right now the brakes feel good I guess we could uh, I connected everything the lights all the modules the electric switches and all that stuff Let's just turn on the power and see what we find here. All right, the lights are on Upper and lower lights are good, you know high beam low beam this black thing. I don't know what it is I push it nothing happens. This one is left signal or right signal and it's working there and the bulb was busted there i don't care oh wait a minute that was left side yeah both signals on the back don't work okay the the left and right the left signal on the front and back work the right signal for the front works but the back bulb is blown Horn should work. Beep. Start we know works. This is illumination. I don't know what that is. So, so far so good. I mean, one switch. Fan. And it still shows overheating, even though we haven't even started it yet. <laughs> so the sender unit has some problems. Gas. I put a bunch of gas in here. I guess we can go around the block or something like that. It's got a... Got a good amount of gas in there. These things are supposed to go like a hundred miles per gallon or something. So we're not gonna come anywhere close to that. Uh, so I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should we start it up? Man, we just started up already. Damn it! All right, here we go. Then work. Oh, do I have to push on the brake? So I'll let it warm up a little bit. Uh, 
bottle it up. We'll find that other mirror. Okay, I've been warming up for a few minutes. Sounds pretty good on idle. I found the mirror, but it's kind of cracked. And the thread's different. Anyway, so look, uh, let's try the brakes, huh? Okay, ready? So the left side is the rear brakes. Right, the uh, right side is the front brakes. I didn't know that. Well, guys, there's only one thing left to do. Let's go down the block. I don't have a helmet. What if something happens and I break my head? Yeah. Tactical, baby! Alright, let's go for a ride. Just try not the front brakes. Alright, here we go. Yeah! Brakes work great. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go far away. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run, go around the neighborhood. Uh, I'm gonna take you with me. All right, I'm holding the camera with my left hand, riding with my right. I've been riding a long time. Uh, not so much a scooter, but I mean, I've had them, you know? I'm not going fast. Sounds great, fellas. Runs great. Good pickup, too. That's Quinn the Mailman.
speedometer doesn't work. It's absolutely awesome. Having a great time. Such a beautiful day for it too. Try to get the speedometer to work. It doesn't work. So I didn't connect it right. All right, I'm back home. I'm gonna set up the tripod for you guys. So this is the first time I'm using um, the kickstand on the side. It has the big kickstand where it has two legs to pull backwards, right? And then you have the side kickstand. When I put the side kickstand down, the engine shut off. So there's a safety switch on there, meaning that it doesn't want to be running while it's on the stand. Um, so this thing here, I, I guess some of you might have noticed, um, this area here was a white plastic area that showed you the level of the overflow coolant reservoir, but it was busted. So any excess coolant going into that extra reservoir, the white little gas tank looking thing on the side over here, when it fills up, it'll come out the hole. <laughs> so I just used this, I don't know, like an oil vent thing with a little stopper at the end to stop the water from coming out. But when I was driving and stopped turning left, it would bank down and whatever overflow coolant would come out like that. Uh, so I don't know. I have coolant all over my leg. Absolutely love it. I'm on top of the world. Finding this on the street, thanks to a tip from Quinn the Mailman, brought it home, got it started, got it running, painted it, got some levers for it. And now it's a perfectly running scooter. I mean, fast too. I think you could take this on the highway. This thing might go 60, 75 miles an hour which I would never do because, of course, it could be stolen. I'm not going to register it. I don't have a title. I'm not going to put insurance on it. I'm just going to zip around the neighborhood for fun. That's it. And it was free. I did put about 50 or 75 bucks into the brake levers and the uh, paint and uh, the thermostat housing and thermostat. That's all the money I put into it. So uh, pretty good for 75 bucks, you know what I mean? Uh, fantastic, I'm stoked. Uh, I'm gonna try to take the headlight off and see if I could get the uh, uh, speedometer to work. Remember, this thing only has 457 miles, very low miles. Anyway, stoked. So it doesn't fit here, right? But I took the old one off and it looks like it'll fit there. And also this is, <laughs> this is the right side. So I just flipped this backwards. Oh, it fits. <laughs> All right, sweet. Really cool. Man, I'm so stoked. If, oh, you know what? I was riding that thing without the fan on. How about it? Didn't overheat. Cool. 
Better figure out the uh, speedometer. I might have to take that whole front end off again. So I think I got the um, speedometer working, screwed it up there, and then used a wrench just so it goes up there. I lifted the front up a little bit on the pivot, rolled the front tire as fast as I could, and I, I saw the gauge moving a little bit like that, and then back down again. So I think we got it going on. I also affixed a few more screws that I didn't see before. Uh, I still have a whole bunch of screws left over. I don't know why. Anyway, I just got this uh, package in the mail. It's a third generation expandable 100 foot garden hose, uh, the snake kind, which I love, with uh, three quarter inch brass fittings and nozzles. Uh, also comes with a uh, 10 setting uh, gun. And this is exactly what I need because you know what? These garden hoses, right? Uh, you need them for everyday use in the summer, right? And a uh, bunch of mine with the plastic fittings, they just wear out over time and they crack from the sun, the heat, then the cold, heat, cold, heat, cold, and it becomes brittle and it cracks. You get the one with the uh, brass fittings. They last almost forever. 100 feet is exactly what I'm gonna use, what I need too. Also has a valve shut off here too, so you don't have to go back and forth, turn off the water, you know? That's great, I'm gonna unbox this right now. So this is from Le Free. Free! I love the free. I love free. <laughs> Lifetime warranty? I'll be calling you pretty soon. I don't know how you could do a lifetime warranty on a garden hose. Wow. I will admit, I never. Ooh, I almost stabbed my foot. Good thing the blade wasn't on. I see. So the whole thing is uh, rubber. Oh, it has a. Uh, a little hook where you can hang it you know what I mean that's cool Maybe the whole thing is rubber <laughs> maybe it will last a lifetime I've actually never had one like this before rubber and expandable has a shut off here and as you can see three quarter inch brass fittings gives you a spray gun with ten settings let me go and uh, plug this in Let's okay, see. So I just connected the hose to my uh, nozzle and I have the fuel, uh, the fuel, <laughs> the water shut off off. So that way I can connect this without spraying myself. But let's see if this works. Wow, okay. That's convenient. Because every time I want to do a power washer, I got to first connect it, then walk all the way to the backyard to turn the water on and come all the way back here to start it, you know? But now I just get the hose, plug it on, do the fuel, sh uh, the water shut off. Okay. It's activated. Jet. Cool. Soaker. That's soaking all right. Angle. Mist. Ooh. Half inch vert. Wow. Center. Full, flat, shower, cool, cone, nice, very nice, jet, wash the bir bird poo off cars, very cool, thank you to LaFree for sending it to me, if you guys are interested in this 100 foot expandable uh, garden hose with the water shut off on the three quarter inch brass fittings on both ends, plus your 10 setting, uh, whatever they call this, a <laughs> garden hose gun. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. I was thinking, now that I use this cargo carrier for my um, battery, I don't really have any cup holders. Where do you put like your drink and stuff? You know what I mean? How about if I have stuff I need to carry where am I gonna put all my shit? Uh, when I got back from my ride, <laughs> I went riding again <laughs> for a good 20 minutes. It was so much fun. I absolutely love it. 
I got this in the mail. This is a backpack with a bladder in it with a drinking hose for hiking, camping, <laughs> taking long drives in a scooter so that I could just, if I get thirsty, I could just drink from my bladder on my backpack and put stuff in it. Let's, un let's open this up and see what it looks like. Cool, huh? Really cool. Like I said, great for camping, hiking, riding your motorcycle, <laughs> anything you need. Uh, let's figure out the bladder. It's got a main pocket over here. Oh, it's got lots of places to put things. Like a low profile backpack. Comes with candy too. No, 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 don't eat it. It's gelatin for moisture. Don't eat it, just kidding. So this bladder you can fill up with water or whatever drink you want, um, electrolytes, Gatorade, whatever. Three liter hydration bladder, Nula. Here's where you put it in. Very cool. I would assume you have to take that out. <laughs> so you put your drink in here. I would wash it first. Put your drink in there. Tighten it up. And then let's affix the drinking straw. So on this side is your cap. And you would drink from here, right? Keep it clean with the cap on. And let's affix this to this. I think it's just to shove it in right there and then you can lift this tab to remove it and then uh, like I said you fill it up with your drink now would you do it this way because gravity right and then you drink it so that this hose should be on top somewhere this is another pocket to put your keys or money phone, whatever. It has mole straps so you can attach other attachments to it. Flashlight, knife. Cool. So it's like a backpack, a thinner backpack where you can put all kinds of stuff. Like you can hook your keys here and put your other stuff. Nice. Really like it. I like the camo design too. I mean, that's if you're into that kind of thing. They have solid colors too. Some padding here for your back, your lumbar support. Other things that you can hook on here. Here's a place where you attach the straw. I'm just going to slip it into the main compartment here. Hey. Very cool. There you go. I'm ready for a nice long distance drive. Got my beverage, got all my stuff in my bag. I'm ready to go. If you guys are interested in this bag, I'll leave a link in the description. Go check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode of, the final episode of my getting the uh, sketchy scooter going. Man, oh man, I am over the moon because it looks great. Uh, drives great, runs great, and it looks like everything works. I got a new mirror on there, the lights work. I could use a light bulb, but to be honest with you, if the cops pull me over, I'm screwed anyway. You know what I mean? So, whatever. Um, and I 
drove it around the block a few times and uh, without the fan on, <laughs> it didn't overheat. So I'm stoked. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just gonna keep it in my garage, I guess, and zip around the neighborhood on a nice sunny day like today. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Holy cow.